One of my favorite memories from childhood? Petting zoos. Who am I kidding? Petting zoos are fun regardless of age. This one, though, this one is world-renowned for its narcoleptic planking goats. Come take a look and learn about two treatment options for narcolepsy, armodafinil and modafinil. Let our excessively sleepy goats remind you of narcolepsy, a disorder that results in excessive daytime sleepiness due to the brain's inability to properly regulate wakefulness and sleep. I said petting zoos are fun for all ages. Not if you've been here all day. This parent looks excessively tired, right? Excessive daytime sleepiness is the uncontrollable urge to sleep and occurs most frequently in monotonous or boring situations. Maybe our parent is a little bored of the planking goat? Impossible, no. Some other symptoms of narcolepsy include automatic behaviors to avoid sleep, disrupted nighttime sleep, sleep paralysis, and hallucinations. Like our one-horned and two-horned goats, there are two types of narcolepsy. Narcolepsy type 1, or NT1, is associated with cataplexy, the sudden loss of muscle tone. Narcolepsy type 1 was formally referred to as narcolepsy with cataplexy. Let our one-horned goat and her cataplectic feline friend symbolize narcolepsy 1, narcolepsy with cataplexy. Although, narcolepsy type 1 does not require cataplexy to have occurred for a diagnosis to be made. A diagnosis of narcolepsy type 1 can also be diagnosed based on low orexin, so let our low orex here symbolize low orexin with narcolepsy type 1. Orexin, also known as hypocretin 1, is a neuropeptide that helps regulate arousal and wakefulness. A loss of neurons that help make orexin is a causative factor for narcolepsy type 1, which may result from a combination of autoimmune activity and environmental triggers. It's also been found that around 98% of people with narcolepsy type 1 carry a gene variant known as DQB10602, which has been widely regarded as a likely factor that would make someone susceptible to developing the condition. It's also important to note that patients who have not experienced cataplexy but have low levels of orexin are likely to develop cataplexy in the future. And our two-horned, standing, or could we say non-cataplectic, goat. Narcolepsy type 2 is narcolepsy where cataplexy or low orexin levels are not present. If patients go on to develop cataplexy or low orexin levels, their diagnosis can be reclassified to type 1, which occurs in approximately 1 in 10 cases. Look, we didn't come here just to see the goats, though I'd be totally okay if we did. This zoo has other animals to fawn over. <laughs> Let our armadillo and Mo the giraffe symbolize armodafinil and modafinil, two treatments used to promote wakefulness in patients with excessive sleepiness associated with narcolepsy, as well as obstructive sleep apnea and shift work disorder.